In today's My Hero Academia video, I explain how Deku can create and use infinite energy by combining his one for all quirks. The basis of this technique is Fajin and Gear Shift, supported by Black Whip and the stockpiling ability of the one for all quirk, which should theoretically allow Deku to create a series of Fajin bursts, where the resulting kinetic energy, due to the combination with the one for all quirks, is greater than the kinetic energy used for the Fajin burst itself. This resulting energy is then stored due to Fajin's first ability to build up kinetic energy, which Deku can then use to create another Fajin burst that is even stronger than the previous one. This new burst is then again supported by gear shift, one for all stockpiling ability and possibly even the black whip to generate even more kinetic energy, resulting in another even stronger Fajin burst. Through this repetitive combination, Deku should be able to generate infinitely powerful Fajin bursts for a maximum of 5 minutes, which is the duration of the gear shift quirk. 5 minutes because I think the gear shift quirk is essential for this combination to generate the energy needed to surpass the previous energy. This would be the ultimate weapon that literally has no limit, at least no power limit. Is this really possible and what conditions must be met? Let's talk about it. If you end up liking this video, consider subscribing. Please enjoy this video. Let's go! To fully understand this technique, we need to understand how gear shift and especially Fajin really work. Fajin allows Deku to build up kinetic energy by repeating regular movements and store it for later use. There's a little misunderstanding here that some people have. Repeating regular movements does not mean just repeating the same movement over and over again. As we saw when Deku first used the Fajin Quirk, Deku was building up kinetic energy through the movement of squats. However, he could have done only one squat and one push-up and still generated kinetic energy. He doesn't have to repeat the same thing. The keyword is kinetic energy. In physics, the kinetic energy of an object is the energy it possesses due to its motion. This energy is literally part of the object during its motion, as if the object is in a state of force. So when objects are in motion, they always have kinetic energy. For example, when you throw a ball, the work you do goes into the kinetic energy of the object. When the ball then falls to the ground, the kinetic energy decreases rapidly until the ball stops moving and its kinetic energy has dropped to zero. When an object is faster, the kinetic energy is larger. When an object is slower, the kinetic energy is smaller. If we apply this to Deku's Fajin ability, he builds up a certain amount of kinetic energy through his motion, just like any other object in the world, so nothing special at first. But Fajin allows Deku to take that energy and store it in the quirk instead of losing it when he stops moving. It's similar to the stockpiling ability of One for All, except that the stockpiling ability increases the power capacity of One for All, making all quirks stronger and stronger with each new user, while Fajin just stores simple energy that Deku can then use at any given time, until that energy has been fully used, at which point it must be recharged. So the power of the stockpiling quirk cannot run out, but there is a limit that cannot be exceeded, but slowly increases over time, while Fajin has no limit, but must be manually charged before each use, depending on how much power is to be used. This stored energy is then used in the form of a burst that gives Deku increased speed and power. The released energy in the form of movement then logically leads in return to new kinetic energy which Fajin then stores again. So this is already the basis of this theory. Energy release which leads to new energy which in turn is stored again and so on. The crucial point is that the resulting energy must be greater than the previously stored energy, otherwise there is no infinitely strong Fajin burst, but the opposite, an increasingly weakening burst, until the energy has dropped to zero and thus no more kinetic energy is generated. For the infinite amount of energy to work as I explained in the introduction, the Fajin burst must put Deku into a certain velocity, so that he thereby builds up enough kinetic energy greater than the energy used for the Fajin burst to thereby create a new and even stronger burst. But if it's that simple, why isn't Deku already using this combination of Fajin buildup and Fajin burst? It could be that Fajin simply cannot store energy during its burst which could disprove the entire theory, but to be honest it would simply make little sense because the burst itself has absolutely nothing to do with the ability to store kinetic energy. Unless Deku has to store the kinetic energy manually and has difficulty doing so while releasing energy at the same time, but more on that in a moment. 
Another explanation why Deku has not yet used this combination could be that the energy resulting from the Fajin burst is always less than the energy used to create the Fajin burst. And to be honest, it makes a lot of sense. Otherwise, Deku would automatically get stronger with each Fajin burst. So there is definitely an important component missing here to create this effect. This component must then be a force that supports the Fajin burst to give Deku a stronger kinetic energy than the one used for the burst itself. Another possibility is that Deku simply has trouble using multiple abilities and quirks at the same time. So Fajin doesn't automatically store kinetic energy, but only if Deku activates that ability. So it could be that Deku just hasn't managed to use Fajin in such a way that allows him to release energy and store it at the same time. And this is very possible because Deku himself has confirmed that he still has difficulty using multiple quirks at the same time. He can do it from time to time but depending on how many quirks and how intensely he uses them, his body sometimes behaves strangely. Even one for all at 100% is still dangerous. In this case, the infinite amount of energy is possible but Deku is not able to store kinetic energy while using gear shift to support Fajin for example. Or Deku just never thought of using this combination maybe because it's too dangerous, especially considering gear shift and one for all. Now imagine what will happen if, in addition to all that, Deku also generated infinitely powerful Fajin bursts. And the last possibility is that Deku has been using this combination all along, even with gear shift, one for all and black whip. But the resulting speed just doesn't generate enough kinetic energy to create a stronger Fajin burst. However, according to the nature of the gear shift quirk, which is able to make Deku move so fast that he even breaks through the sound barrier, I strongly doubt that he can't generate enough kinetic energy. And since he can apply gear shift to himself, this, in combination with Fajin, would lead to an infinitely increasing velocity, which in turn would lead to an infinitely increasing kinetic energy. Now you can see why gear shift is so important for this combination. Gear shift allows Deku to change the speed at which things accelerate through space. He can even change the speed while ignoring the law of inertia. This law is not really important for this video. It means for example, he can accelerate instantly or slow down his speed abruptly without inertia affecting him in any way. We saw that when he shifted from overdrive to low gear, due to the inertia he should actually have moved even further, which will then have allowed all for one to hit him. As I said, this is not important because we are only interested in the motion itself which Deku performs due to gear shift and with which he generates kinetic energy energy. Deku uses gear shift to make all his ultimate moves faster. Of particular interest to us is the overdrive technique. Izuku uses gear shift in combination with Fajin on himself to increase his speed. This is the absolute basis for our theory. And the only thing left then is for Izuku to first use Fajin's ability to store kinetic energy during the burst and second to generate extra speed during the burst by using his other quirks such as stockpiling and if possible black whip to reach a certain overall speed level so that the resulting kinetic energy is greater than that used for the burst itself. And so the power of the bursts increases with each new burst. What do you think of this new My Hero Academia theory? Do you think it's possible? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this theory, please leave a like. It helps us a lot to continue the My Hero Academia content on this channel. And if you want to see more My Hero Academia videos, subscribe with the notification bell activated so that you don't miss any new Boku no Hero Academia video. We do weekly My Hero Academia theories and chapter reviews. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.